Welcome to the Gnostic Informant. I'm Jesus, the Logos Incarnate, and you are about to attain true Gnosis. Welcome back to the Gnostic Informant, and you are about to attain true gnosis. And I'm with my brother, my mother, mother. That's right. Eric Lambers, Myth Vision. What's going on, dude? Love you, brother. Thank you for this opportunity to talk with you. And and uh, I'm going through a lot right now, as you know. <laughs> you can kind of see it in my eyes, actually. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate you, bro. I I see the ch- uh, the. 43 people already. Usually it's like 10 right at this moment. Usually it takes like an hour to get to that. They're here for you probably. So no, they're here for you, bro. And me, they're, they're, yeah. they're the great community, bro. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, there's a community of us and, and they're supporting you. And I can see that the super chats are already piling in. Dude, if we need to address, let's go into the, anyone right who has the, any, yeah, let's go right to the chat. Why not? Why not? Why, why waste time? Spartan theology. We are myth vision. Thank you. Thank you. That's a good friend. Um, I mean, he, they, I, he was I blocked like, him three days ago, but I unblocked him two days ago. So that's what counts. I was I just going to say, because <laughs> when this all broke out, everyone, no, no one knew what to do. Bob, we love Bob. I didn't know what to Bob's do. Bob's a friend. Bob's it's like, it's like family. Like, you know, you still you, love him. Family has bad politics. You, you still love him. Right. And like, doesn't mean you bring them on your, it doesn't mean you bring them in, in your car with it, with a, with a um, microphone to talk like, like you don't right. have to like bring them around. You'll, but anyways, Bob, long story short, people are supporting you because you're going through some shit. you made a tough decision. I was, I had, it's, it's a tough decision to make. Like you have a business to run. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. It was really, uh, there's so much there, man. It's, it's been really hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Constellation Pegasus. I unsubscribe from myth vision because get rid of monster bright. Gnostic informant going to do the same. Hey, I appreciate the super chat and the, you have the right to do whatever you want. Um, you know, right now, is. right now, I guess you're probably just laying low on that. You might eventually, I don't know. That's your call. I haven't uh, done anything. I'm not, I haven't said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't yet. made any moves. And, uh, and I look, I respect everybody's choice to not follow me if they don't want to. And that's totally understandable. Um, you know, I, I, I either was going to commit suicide in terms of the content produced. You might as well might as well create an entirely new YouTube channel called Bob Vision and literally make it about him because every academic is catching wind of what's been going on and what's been published and what's being said. And um, I will not be able to explore a larger uh, academic uh, arena of scholars to join me. I've already been uh, rejected multiple times in the past due to having him as a primary guest on my show. And some of the thoughts I didn't even know that he actually held to that that have come forward. Uh, 
putting the pieces together throughout the years, you kind of see that. But uh, yeah, no, that's my. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and I want to get into your, your your journey. And let me just bang some of these out real quick. Guyless Julius Windex. I support Myth Vision through thick and thin. Thank you, guys. Thank Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the super chat. Seriously. Cracking Ford, our good buddy, really good, amazing YouTuber. Everyone should subscribe. Great, great guy. Great YouTuber. He says, okay, chaps, a question for you. Considering all you've been through, who are your greatest heroes in life? Much love to Derek. John, it's a good question. I like that You want to go first? Uh, shh, heroes, heroes, heroes. Um, why don't you, do you have one in mind? That yeah, I have my dad. I did okay. my oh, senior okay. project on my dad. And my dad has a lot of flaws. You know, dad has a lot of flaws. He's He was a Green Beret in the Special Forces. Uh, went to combat situations often. Also was an alcoholic. So he's a tough guy and also suffered with addiction to alcohol. But he was always, when he wasn't drinking, there was nobody on planet Earth like my dad. And of course, that was my hero. If you're asking for someone who's not someone you've, you know, someone that everybody knows, that's a tough question. I haven't really thought about in a long time. Me neither. Yeah. I'm, like I'm, I'm really just at a loss for words of who is my greatest heroes in life? Because that's a really careful and you have to be careful with that answer because this is, it's a big deal. I mean, I would, I would go, I would broaden it to be anybody who goes against the grain when, when it's, when you stand for the, you know, the, when you stand for some, the people who, are you know marginalized or or when you stand for your your place in life when when all odds are against you i uh, that's those are heroes there's a lot of heroes you know so i wouldn't just say one but and i'll there say are, this like three. like john for example in light of mythology in his youtube channel craig and ford which if you haven't subscribed you really should uh academic level stuff when it comes to odin and thor and going into the ancient uh proto-indo-european mythologies um, you know, he has ventured into this land without getting captured into the racial yeah. uh, entity that is in there. He kept it completely academic and he encourages others to do so as well. And has argued against these people like, you know, that's that's a stand that he took. So he's a hero in and of himself. But I can't think of like a this guy and, and uh, this is my public figure that I think is my hero or whatever. It's been a long time since I thought about that one. So sorry, I couldn't answer that. Yeah, that, that's I'll think about that. I'll go back. We'll go back to it. I increased my Patreon membership. Oh, sorry. Scott Daniel. Thank you for the super chat. I increased my Patreon membership with Myth Vision, and I'll continue to support GI as well, regardless of his decision. Wow. Hey, I love you. <laughs> I do. Thank you. I really do. I really appreciate that. I, I mean, this that's really nice. And thank you. Yeah, I you know, I would say one thing and I really appreciate Scott on that is that. um, As a drug addict. Cause this is part of our story that we're kind of like wanting to mention you and I both you, once you've been through and life has kicked your ass, like really kicked your ass and you've seen other people in the rooms in and out of the recovery rooms or in prison or in jail and you see the struggling, you know what it's like to be at the bottom. You come to learn to try to empathize with people more as much as possible as you can, which is what I try to do in hanging on for example, in the recent situation with Bob. Like I literally tried my best before I'm lynch mobbed at this point. And then what? Let my children and my wife and everything else. I totally disagree with Bob's morals completely like on all of this stuff. But at the end of the day, I still, if this wasn't public and he wasn't an entity completely like a twin entity to my channel, right? Uh, this wouldn't have the impact on people who matter more than I do, which is my family my children, my wife. So I want people who might disagree with my choice to be mature enough to try and be flexible and not judge as much and realize there is way more going on behind the scenes than I even know through the internet. So yeah. anyway. No, I, I want to I want to get into this for a second because the, the next two Super Chats are, I, I don't want to change the subject too much. And I don't want to stay on this for a second because my life, like I look up, I look to you, Derek, as a role model. Because I see you came before me in a lot of different ways, recovery wise and YouTube wise. Like it's a weird thing. I see, I see, I saw how you beat addiction. Appreciate that. We man. both had the same. We both had the same addiction, opiates, heroin. Yeah. Right? And we both came from a similar lifestyle where this is something that when it, when it grabs you, it grabs you, and there's no other door except death, except for very few. 
and you and I are one of the 0.2% that are able to find some sort of path, normal yeah. path in life, regardless of like the what it does to your mental health, what it does to your psychological, all that, all the history, all the trauma that of the past shit that we were doing, and that we yeah. people we hurt, people we who crossed us, people who did so like you're in this world of just madness of horrible people around you and doing crazy shit, stealing, doing all types of nonsense. And me from, for, and for me, I ended up in prison. Right. Might've been the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, because you know, I got me out of that life and that wasn't a good environment either, but at least I was no longer doing all that actively yeah. out there. Anyways, long story short, this is how I became a fundamentalist Christian because before that I was already spiritual. I was already right. dabbling with hallucinogens and thought that we're all one man. It's all, you know, all that. Um, yeah. you know, just, the, just the norm. Right. I like, get it. I was there at yeah. one point too. <laughs> I was going, you know, going to festivals and doing all that crazy shit and you know, whatever. Some of the, some of it was fun. A lot of it was dark. I, I think back some moments of my life, like the other day I had, you ever like have like a, fl a nostalgic flashback of a certain time in your life? Like you hear, you hear a song that reminds you of like a certain time period, like in high school or something. Yeah. Well, there's this one song. It was by Mob Deep. Just random. <laughs> I heard it. I heard it one day. Someone was, I think someone was driving by. I heard it somewhere. It got stuck in my head though. Somehow this song gets back in my head. I don't know where I heard it from, but I, this song gave me the darkest feeling because it, the, when I used to, when I used to listen to this song, it was when during the darkest time of my life, like I'm talking homeless, living with people's couches, just having no I know health, you... bad health, bad everything, no, nothing, no money, doing whatever I can just to get the next one. Yep. And so this song has the power over me that when I hear it, I get that dark feeling like, ah, it's so dark. Like I was so, what was I doing? Yeah. Wow, I could have died. I know and, what you and mean. Like, and when I hear, so when I hear people who don't, when people like talk like, oh, those fucking addicts, they're just a bunch of, why are we putting money into, into recovery and Medicaid? Just let them all die. Who cares? They're, they're worthless. I'm like, I don't, I, I th that tells me that they're at a place of priv privilege in their life that they never had to experience. Yeah. Let your daughter, let your, let your child or your wife. I can't even begin, bro. I've had so many people over the years, five, six years doing my recovery channel before Myth Vision was on the scene of overdose messages and, and like these stories of like, my son talked about you a lot over the past few months and he was trying to get it, but it got him, you know? And like, oh, yesterday was a, yeah. Yesterday was a five year memorial of a friend of mine who passed so over overdose. His mom posted on Facebook. It's been five years since you're gone. She posted a picture of her son with wings. Like he's an angel that right there. Just seeing that and I lost count. I don't, it's not five or 10 friends that I know that passed away from, from overdosing. I lost count a long time ago. We're talking dozens, 20, 30, 40, 50, maybe people who I was in high school with, who I went played sports with, who I played baseball with gone overdose fentanyl my brother um my brother is no longer really yeah brother. he's not really yeah. like he he's living he's living in a hospital bed he can't talk barely can walk he's shitting himself and this happened less than a year ago so yeah. I, this is still like even in recovery the, the the there's still things that we have to deal with I'm sorry you're going through that, bro. Yeah. Um, and well, you just lost your friend. Yeah. He passed away, which is even worse. I mean, I can visit my brother and I can talk to him and he can hear me and he can sort of like mumble back and I can sometimes understand what he's saying, but he's not all there. It's yeah. not the same. I can't call him up like I used to. Yo, did you see that Chris Rock shit? <laughs> that's not, that's those days are over. That's gone. I don't have yeah. that anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. But and it's not just about me, though. Like, I don't just think, say this as a, this happened to me. Therefore, that's why I'm a good person. I see it. Like I'll give us, I told this story to Bob the other day because I wanted to talk to Bob. I don't want to just condemn him and be a, you know, I wanted to talk. So I told Bob this story the other day when I was in prison, there was a kid like me, but he was black, but he was just like me. He was a good kid. Just got in trouble, got into drugs. He, we both wound up in prison in the same unit. We were card buddies. We played cards, spades together, poker. And he was a good, good kid. I could see potential in him like no other. Yeah. One day, 
one day we get our lunch trays. We are, we're at the, um, at the mess hall and he grabs his lunch tray and something, he was having a bad day. He must've got a bad phone call from the girlfriend or something, maybe from the mom, from his parents, some sort something ticked him off that day. And the CEO said something, the correctional officer said something to him and he mouthed back. The correctional officer took his food tray and threw it across the room where the camera is looking at the door. So the camera can't see us. The camera can only see the door. The, the lunch tray went across the screen of the camera and the cop said, you just threw that and beat the shit out of him to a bloody pulp. And I never saw him again. That kid was taken out, brought to the infirmary. We never saw him again. Never went back to the unit. That cop was back on the unit the next day. Nothing happened to me. Smiling and laughing. Still working. Nothing. He never got in trouble. And yeah. everybody there, everybody there who saw that wrote grievances. There was 50 grievances probably written. I don't know what happened. I don't, I'm not sure if it followed maybe, maybe later on. It Maybe it took a long time for him to get in trouble. I don't know because I've never, I, till the time I got out of there, he was still there. He, nothing happened to him. So I. So see- your experience brought something in you, taught you something that maybe Bob's experience doesn't allow him to maybe right. empathize with on the same level. Yeah. And, and so what, and what I'm getting at is like, I understand why people are in positions that they're in. I'm not saying that all cops are bad people. I, I support them. I think most cops are good. I don't want to defund them. That's just my personal opinion. Right. But at the same time, I understand the, the, the grievances with what's going on. And I just have one more story to tell. This is another one. I have after that, we got to get the super chat. Yeah, I don't that, like to leave you hanging. Anybody. After that. Yeah, we will. I'm good about that. Aren't I? I tell you, I'm yeah, like, you make sure you Derek will text me in the mom of the world live. He's like, bro, you got a lot. Of super Dude, you got to go and help your fans out. Right. Yeah, go ahead. But this go is ahead. an important one because this is another one. There was a, someone I went to high school with who came out as gay. And so most people who don't under, don't care about like, So what he did, it, yeah, he probably got praised. He's probably, everyone probably praised him. No, no one talked to him ever again. All, he was in, he was one of the boys. Like no one ever talked to him. No one touched. No no one called him. No no one wanted to be friends with him because they were scared to look like. Oh, why are you hanging out with the gay dude? That's right. what I saw. That I mean, I witnessed that. People like that's don't, people don't understand. Like yeah, there are people who. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, of course there's that. You see that? Of course that should be that way. But you don't realize that in that person's life, the person that they're they, these are people they don't know. People that don't even know are on Facebook. Yeah, congratulations. And that's probably helps them. But the people who they really know and on a day-to-day level are will have a different viewpoint and look at them differently, treat them differently because I decided to say, oh, look, this is who I am. Right. So, so I'm, I'm bringing all this up to say, like, look, this you is sure real- you're not me. Are you sure you're not me? OK, <laughs> well, I want, I want to hear I want to hear where you're at right now and how you get to where you're at, basically. If you yeah, know. no every, experience, everything like I know that I'm a person, a human. There are people and humans. They go through the same things. And I made very bad choices in my life, like you've made very bad choices in my life and your life. Um, and a lot of those choices you can almost say some may have been things we felt like were really us. And some of it's kind of like what we were handed in a way and the environment and the issues that we were given. Um, I'm, I'm blessed that I made it out. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to take all of that time, you know, and, and, and experience to try and paint that in the world that I live in today, because I know change can happen. You know, there's people who still to this day on my recovery channel say, you're a miracle, right? Like if there is a miracle in the world that exists, it's people changing because that's the hardest thing to do. Yeah. And that's why when I met you or before I met you, when I, when I, when I found your channel on MythVision, I was just like inspired so much because I, little by little, you kind of gave out your story in bits and like certain episodes you'd say, oh, this happened to me. Oh, by the way, I'm recovering addict. Oh, by the yeah. way, I did this. By the way, I did that. And as I'm watching you and getting to know you through these videos, I'm like, I can relate to this guy so much. And it's so, it's, I'm so lucky to have somebody like a role model to look up to. You're two years older than me. You started your channel two years before me. You, your clean time is two years ahead of mine. It's just so weird. It really lines up. Like it's, we both had the same <laughs> addiction. So I just, man, like I have to be, well, I'm, I have I'm, to have your back no matter what. Look, dude, I, when I met you, you saw that you didn't have, you know, you had few followers, right? And I was like, I like 
like I connected with you and obviously you saw something I, in you, I did. I saw it in you, man. I knew you were real down to earth and I knew that you, I could see that kind of experience in your eyes that you were hungry to learn and get, you were into the same stuff I'm into things like that. And, uh, look, it just, we took it from there, man. Now you're a brother. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah. Yeah, let's get these super okay. chats, man. Right. Let's get these super chats. All right, let's see. Temmy, five dollars. We're here for you both. Keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you. you, Temmy. That is, I appreciate you very much. Joseph, I just arrived at the party. What's all the hub about? I'm, I, uh, I'm pretty sure you've heard us in the spiel, and I'm sure you were probably seeing in the chat. You know, we're just, it's just, we're just talking about life. We're just talking about our recovery and where we're at. There's nothing. It's nothing like it, we're not pointing to anything right now. I just wanted. To, I just, I just saw Derek was have going through some shit, and I wanted to get. Jump on a live with me. Let's talk about it. That's all. But thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Um, and I'll, yeah, thank you. Robert Herring. I do not understand the cancel culture, but we'll be a supporter of you both regardless. You do what you feel you got to do. Who am I to judge? Hey, Robert, I appreciate that. Thank you. Robert's a good friend. It. Yeah, absolutely is. And I've, yeah. Melody Joy, another good friend of both of us. I repurposed Patreon money today. She did. I saw that. Thank you. That. Thank you for that. Thank you, Melody. She gave me a couple more bucks, and I really, I love you for that. And by the way, Melody, you're like the second person to to, to be a patron for me. Like you're like one of the wow. first. She was one of the first people to be like, I'm gonna support this, and I, I, I love you for that. I really do. That is just like every I, time I see her name come up in the so chat, love. I'm like smiling like yes. all right we gotta yeah. i always refer like melody's like got her pom-poms in the chat like two four six eight <laughs> who do we appreciate you know what i mean like yeah. seriously rooting us on though so it always helps makes us feel good and it, it's really cool it really it really is cynic 1864 thank you for the super chat appreciate you thank you Derek, for explaining things earlier today if anyone doubts you for dropping dr bob that makes the case keep up the excellent work yeah. appreciate that yeah, I don't want to be exhaustive, but yeah, check the video out. I like uh, the comment. I really do appreciate things like this. Where or um, where is it at? Uh, is that a towards right the bottom? Above, no, Frederick Douglass actually. He, he's you know he's like you don't have to keep explaining yourself. And I really appreciate that comment right below Joseph's super chat. I really appreciate that comment because this is emotionally uh, very uh, tolling, you know. And I even was like, can we reschedule? And he's like, you want to reschedule? I'm like. Well, let's go live. I'm just really drained. You see him Be below Joseph's. I just arrived at the party. What's all the hub? Oh, so one of the old ones. Okay. Yeah, Frederick. Yeah, no, yeah. Frederick Douglass was just making a good point. Okay, like, it is. If you want to know more, you could check out the video. And there's, of course, I just wanted to give a few reasons, but there's like it really boils down to like the impact it's going to have on me, my family, and the growth of everything. So anyway, uh, there's a lot more going on than you know that, of course. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was Melody. Cynic, we got that one out the way. Thank you, Cynic, for the super chat. Um, the next one is Ricky Johnson. Love you guys. Love Ricky, you. good to see Ricky here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I always smile because he's smiling in his image. If you look closely, <laughs> he's like this, and he makes me want to go like, Ricky, you right. know, Ricky, you're, you're a good guy, man. <laughs> Seriously. By the way, I told Derek I was going to split these with him because I already knew that people were going to do this, so. I mean, it's for him. So it's like, who am I to just like the super chats are I'm splitting with them. So, but thank you guys all. I just wanted to say that just in case anyone was wondering, yeah. like, what is he going to profit off Derek? No, I'm just gonna no, get, dude. Gonna Derek. no, 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 I want you to keep this. I want you to keep this. There's well, no, you know, you know you're going to get it back somehow. <laughs> dude, you scratch my back a lot. I scratch your back, dude. Don't right. even sweat it. This is just showing love, man. And this just helps you keep doing what you're doing because these are tough times. And, yeah. you know, we're just yeah. hoping to get through these tough times. So yeah. my condolences for the loss of your friend. Uh, Al, my Al. friend, Al. Yeah. My, yeah. Yeah. Support your decision on Dr. Price. I learned, learned a lot from him. I, so did I, I still will continue. There are, there, I'm not, I'm, I will always say this till the death of me. Dr. Price's scholarship. Great. So I'm just going to leave that. Leave that One of back. the most brilliant. Yeah. yeah I love. Yeah. He knows what he's talking about. He's got three, two PhDs, three masters. These guys know what he's, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Anyways, I say this as a black person and a left winger. Good luck to both of you. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And yeah, Al will be sorely missed. I plan on doing an episode with his sister at some point on my recovery channel just to talk and kind of do a memorial for him. You know, uh, it's the least I can do. S Duck, we are blessed to have you, Derek. Thank you. Thank blessed you for to have you, S Duck. <laughs> yeah. For real. 
Sonic 864 is back. Folks need to realize that there's a difference between no longer making videos with someone versus actively canceling them. You're doing, you're not doing the latter. Yeah, if it, this is a wonderful point, Cynic. Someone brought this to my attention, and they're right. Yeah. Four days ago, I tried to fix this, actually. I tried to get tr – there's a lot behind the scenes. I'm not going into all the details, and this isn't even stuff that's all on my video. I just launched. But but uh, they pointed out it's not that I'm canceling. It's it's He kind of canceling himself on this because there was some options and choices. He had the option to be able to help me out in this situation – and uh, he said, I will not do that. There was no empathy. So you're absolutely right. Um, you could look at it as I'm canceling him, or you could look at it as he's canceling himself by doing this when he's not a politician. Uh, that's just my thing. So, yeah, like, like I said to the super chat a couple of times ago, I'm not canceling anyone. I'm just, I do what I feel is right at the time. Yeah. And well, I don't know, when I hear people say things like, you know, rioters should be shot down on the spot. I don't, I'm sorry, but I can't. It's just, it's not like I'm actively like fighting myself to not have someone like that around. I just don't want to anymore. It's just, yeah. it's as simple as you have a right to feel that way. And I have a right to feel a way towards what you said. That's all it is. You can't really get mad at me for that. So it's just, it is what it is. Like that's my, some people draw the line that he said Oriental. I, I, I say, okay, he's an old guy. He probably meant to say Asian. He, he slipped up. I right. get that. Some people draw the line right away, right there. I get that. Fine, fine. It's, I, but I also have my limits, and there are there were a lot of those moments in that chat that I just said I did not know this. I, I did not even get the impression this person thought this way. But now I just feel different about this person. It is what it is. Like I can't help it. Just, just where I'm at. Like based on my worldview, that's where I'm at. Yeah. Um, another one coming up. Orpheus Groto. I like that name, by the way. Totally agree with Derek's remarks about empath empathization. Actually posted a comment on his latest video just before the live about this exact topic. Nice. Wow. Thank you, Orpheus. I think that's the best we can do is to try to empathize. And I think we can learn a lot from each other if we do that. And uh, yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. Johnny Mac. I've been a huge fan of you both. Great work. Thank you, Johnny Mac. You're awesome. Appreciate that. Shereen, so sorry you had so much going on in your past, and I love that you guys are honest about it, vulnerable. It hurts to, but, but continue on. So lovely and, and brave to fight for better life. Inspirational. I just want to say, I sort of have to be open and honest about my past in order to keep in order to keep my recovery. Like it's part, of, it's part of the process of me being like okay mentally and and with my mental health. Like if I, if I just like held that, like that didn't, didn't happen. I would be probably on the corner right now. Get trying to find the next one. Yeah, I get I it. Ha I have to talk about it. It's just, that's part of the process. That's also been one of the reasons I'm even like, people are like, you should have just been quiet and phased out. For example, in this situation, right? I think Shereen's referring to like the drug addict situation, which is absolutely the point I'm making is people are like, you're vulnerable right now. Be careful. And they're right. You know, when you're sensitive and your emotions are there, my wife's a huge support. I have good friends. I see your great comments. I try to ignore negative ones that are attacking me. Like, I can't tell you the kind of spot this put me in. But, um, yeah, you got to keep pushing forward and being transparent. And I, there's, it's kind of a therapeutic thing to kind of just say what's really going on. Not hide anything, but like really how you feel or really what's going on. It's therapeutic, whether you agree with me or not. And try to like understand I'm just a human with feelings and I'm going through life as everybody else. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, okay, well, then, thank you for Shireen for that. Yeah, story. good to see Shireen here too, by the way, because she right. always pops up. Yeah. And I love when I see her name. Um, there's listen, I have like this photographic memory when a super chat comes up in the names there. It's like, yeah, same. It's like, this is family. Like yeah. one day we're going to have to do a conference. I'm not even kidding you. One yes. day we're going to have to do something that's a fun either get together. Or there's something where we plan it out in advance where we can all get together and meet and talk about all the wild theories and stuff like that and campfire, right. whatever. I'm just throwing, you know, like I'm imagining that there'd be something cool in the future that we could do. Right. Craig Hughes, thank you for the super chat. Derek and Neil, keep doing what you're doing. I listen to you both as I, work, I go to work. Thank you. Luke Renelli, Polyomathy, Scorpio, Martarnius channels for new collab. Wow. That's oh, a long okay. Name. So uh, no, I think he's mentioning 
is that three names in there? Two names, but um, some ideas. Yeah. Hey, I have my my emails in my description in my channel. You can always if you have somebody, just if you want to recommend somebody, I will look at them up and if they're a good. Fit. Yeah, that's the thing. Like we got to check it out first, yeah. but if it's good and it's got some interesting stuff, Justin Sledge. People have been asking oh, to get him on. I actually then, interviewed him. Yeah, he's saying. Yeah, yeah. It's it's gonna be on my Patreon soon, but these last few days have been insane. I can't tell you how insane it's been. In fact, after this live stream, Neil, you 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 really twisted my arm, and I said, "You're my brother. I'm coming on." After this live stream, I'm gonna take a few days, yeah, literally, and rest. You uh, I I Is really it? need it right now. You should do that. It's yeah. a good idea. Oh, uh, thank you for that. Soup and sandwich. Thanks for doing this live, guys. Platform what you want. We all have pr we all have prices. Spiel memorize anyway. Hey, that's one way to look at it. Yeah, um, there's a lot of material I have. Obviously, you can go back and watch anything that we've done, and uh, that's kind of the thing me and my wife talked about. Because people are like, "Why don't you get rid of the past material?" Oh yeah, I got a comment on that too. You yeah, like, why aren't you getting rid of the stuff before, Mister Canceller? Because obviously, it's the idea that they're trying to like, I don't know, come at me. Remember, my family's involved. And I say that to say that the videos I've done in the past are foundations building what we call myth vision in the empire. You if you start it. to remove these videos, it impacts the revenue stream that comes in that provides for my three kids and my wife. I'm not promoting, right? This isn't like an ongoing thing. And so I hope everybody has enough common sense that if you were in my shoes, would you take money out of your own well, mouth? It's not like, like you were having a on for politics anyway. Never, never. Yeah. Everything I have has yeah. always been biblical. So yeah, you're going to be, I mean, obviously he and had you his worked little on it. You worked, That was your work. That's yeah. your, you worked hours on editing those videos and putting stuff together. Endless hours. That's your work. You can't just, you know, and yeah. here's another thing. My last thing I want to add to what you just said is someone asked me the same question. You're going to take them down. I thought about it. I was, I was, I was honestly no. going to. Yeah, don't but do that. The reason why I'm not is because I have an old channel on YouTube from when I was a fundamentalist Christian and I have a lot of content on there that I just, I can't, if I watched it right now, I would throw tomatoes at my own self because it was just, my ideas were wrong because I was in that mindset, but I leave those chat. I leave those videos up because it shows where I've, how long, where I've came from, where I came from a right. fundamentalist right wing Christian to somebody who's a humanist, a naturalist, yeah. someone who thinks, well, you know how Bob will talk about HP Lovecraft and how HP Lovecraft had racist ideas. And he's like, I wish he didn't have that. Cause he's a HP right. Lovecraft fan. Uh, but he loves this material from the past. Right. Okay. I think that the same will be done, obviously, in history. You're going to look back and go, that guy was wicked genius right. on the Bible. Right. But this, exactly. this over here, you know, like, and that's fine. That's Plato, fine. Plato thought like women were less than men. He yeah. thought that when women are pregnant, their baby can travel to the leg. Uh, Nietzsche has some crazy things to say about women and, and, and Jews. And, but like, we don't read them for that. We read them, we read Nietzsche to read what he has to say about Christianity. We read Plato to hear what he has to say about philosophy. We read right. these people for what they, what they, for what they, the value they bring. We don't, I'm not going to take all my Plato books and throw them in the garbage because he said something, he had some horrible opinions. Right, I'm going right, to read right. Plato still. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm not like going to promote all Plato's bad ideas. Right. But that's, that's how I look at people with P like scholars and historians. If it was just some random r Joe from the street. Yeah. I would delete everything. I mean, dude, think about it. Mean? Think about this too, though. It's not like this is just a random scholar I was interviewing. This was someone who's integrated. When you think of price, you think of me mm -hmm. and my ideas became his or his ideas became mine technically. Right. And I, don't line up with those ideas at all. And now that's public and it's bombarded. There are academics. Like there are people that are also people who help me provide for my family that are involved recognizing this. I There's a lot of multiple reasons why you take the position you do. Soup and sandwich, seriously, thank you for the super chat. And, you know, I really appreciate all the support you can give Gnostic Informant and me and all the compliments, things like that. Really good. That is actually was the last one. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. And I did say that we were going to do it 30, 30 minutes to 45 minutes or like right in the middle. <laughs> um, anything else you want to say? I, I, I just want to say this. Like we all, we're all on a journey and we all think, sometimes we think that we've seen it all. We know it all. And like our experiences reflect the world. Like we know it all. Like I, I don't, what do you mean? Some people will say, where's all the racists at? I don't know any. 
It's like sometimes, we, and I used to think like that sometimes. But you got to remember that we, us as individuals, are just a little piece of this planet. But there are other worldviews, there are other experiences out there, and we should want to be open minded to something you don't agree with and try to understand it. Try to try to test out your theories against it. If you disagree with somebody, I think you should try to take that person and have put them on and talk to them. Try to debate that person, yeah. like T jump or something. Like there are ways to instead of trying to just like you know cover it all up and ostracize people from society. I think we should try to talk to people, but at the same time, when you try to talk to people and they're just f off, then you they do have to you yeah. do have to make a decision. There, <laughs> there is there are choices to be made, but um, I just want there to- are more people on the line than just you. Or yes. just me on this. This is not just a uh, oh, simple decision stuff. Nah, but your 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 philosophy is right. We want to have multiple conversations take place. We want to be open to these things. And you know, in my predicament, if things didn't happen the way they did, things would have kept going. I I wasn't going to change anything. There was no public. Yeah. You know, I didn't have any problem. Now, ooh, I can't even tell you. Watch my video. <laughs> Watch the video. And then, of course, there, just remember, there's a. this is the tip of the iceberg. There's a mountain beneath of, of stuff going on that you just can't even keep up with. So, JM, thank you for the $5 super chat. I appreciate you. There's a couple that just popped up, but we'll, I promise we'll be done. I know you want to. I know you're ready to rest and you have a long day. But um, Oh, man. <laughs> you have a little faith. Thank you. you both. I respect yeah, I, you. This is this, you. Um, you've been playing a pivotal role in this process <laughs> on, on Twitter. And while you said... <laughs> Well, I wish I didn't, uh, you know, make a remark or been involved in any of the commentary that was going on on there. It all happened, and I'm glad that it happened the way that it happened so that it is what it is. And now we just got to figure it out together. You know, we just got to figure this out. Yep, exactly. So thank you. Vaguely agnostic with the 666. I told you both with Patreon <laughs> that I would support you regardless. And I, I, when I saw that, I just went, I love you, man. I love you. So. Yeah, love you too. Thank you so much for that. And uh, uh, I'm gonna check my messages over the next few days while I'm not doing any work here on on YouTube. I'm gonna rest and enjoy my time with my wife and my wonderful three kids, and just try to play a video game or two, or like go out on a walk. Uh, right now it's stormy here. They're talking about tornado warning. I'm lucky my internet hasn't like the house power didn't go out yet while we've been on because it's done it three times before we started this live. I'm just gonna try and escape for a few days and enjoy what's really like real in my person, like in, in real life and do that. You know what I mean? Yep. And, um, like I always say, you have just attained true gnosis. You have just attained true gnosis. The Demiurge has no power over you. Jesus.